Hey everyone, so this is uh, the Unit 5 pre-assessment. We're going to use it as a study guide like we've been doing. So I'm going to do a few, check them, um, pause it, try them on your own. Uh, let's just try some. Okay, so I've been doing a few of these problems on some of the homeworks, and there's so many different ways to take these on. So I'm going to do a couple things. So 6 times 1 fifth, I could write, well, this one's not too big. So I'm going to go... Um, one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth six times. I won't say it every time. All right. So if I were to add those all up, I would have six fifths. Notice the denominator did not change because I'm just adding all those fifths up, which is the same thing as um, one and one fifth. All right. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Let's do the next one. So 8 times 2 thirds. So I could write 8, I could write 2 thirds 8 times. Or I know 2 times 8 is 16, 16 thirds. But let's change that to an improper fraction, or a mixed number. Um, 16 divided by 3, let's count by our 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. You can't see it, but I'm holding up 5 fingers. So I think it goes in there 5 times. That was 15. So there's one left over, five and a third. All right, uh, I will definitely not write five eighths 40 times, but I know that 40 times five, well, I know four times five is 20. There's one more zero in there, eighths. Um, if I were to go 200 divided by eight, I should have changed the color, but I didn't. 200 divided by eight, um, I might get on my ratio table there, um, well, I'm just going to do it right down here. I know that obviously 1 times 8. Um, 10 times 8 is 80. Um, 20 times 8 is 160. Um, I'm going to go up to 8. I can go by 8. It's like 21 is 168. I need 40 more. Oh, um, 5 times 8 is 40. So I think 25 um, times 8 is is uh, 200. So this is going to equal 25. That was really fast. I did that. But that's kind of how I use my ratio table. All right. Number two. Maybe we'll change colors in this one. In Zach's class, three-fifths of the 25 students are boys. So um, as we turn it the other way around, I'm going to draw my 25 students... I'm not going to draw out 25 students. This whole thing is 25. I'm going to break it up into five pieces. So one, two, three, four lines. And then we need three of them. So if I were to find this right here, that's one fifth. And so one fifth of 25. So 25, this right here is 25 divided by five. Well, that equals five, right? So I'm going to erase that. Oops, sorry, I raised too many lines. This is going to be a 5. Every one of them is going to be a 5, because that means a whole is 25. But I just need 3 of them. So, um, 3 fifths of 25, or times 25, equals 15. It's going to go 15. There would be 15 boys, right? All right, let's keep going. Oh, I love this problem. Maddie's little brother. Oh, I wonder if it's our Maddie. Uh, Maddie's little brother, no way, spelled uh, ketchup on one of her homework problems. How could he? Assuming the number under the spill is greater than zero, so it can't be zero, fill in the bubble to show that Maddie should be able to tell us. Fill in the bubble to show what Maddie should be able to tell us for sure. For sure about the answer, even though she can't see the other number. So let's just, I'm going to pick a couple numbers. Um, what if it's one? One third times one equals one third. Okay? Let's just start with the simplest one right now. The answer will be less than one third. Well, if we use one, is that less than one third? Nope. That doesn't work. The answer will be less than the ketchup covered number. Um, so far, that works, right? Because one third is, this would be the ketchup. That's the ketchup. Um, so maybe this one. The answer will be a fraction. Yeah, so far it's a fraction, right? 
Uh, the answer will be greater than the ketchup cover number. Hmm, it's already not that. So let's try another number. Let's try, um, let's try a fraction. Let's try one third times the ketchup cover number. Oh, look, I'm using red, um, is two thirds. There's the ketchup cover number. Uh, that would be two ninths. Okay, so the only ones I'm worried about are those middle two. The answer will be less than the ketchup cover number. That's true so far, right? The answer will be a fraction. That's true also. Let's try one more. Let's try a whole number. Um, one third times um, three. Let's just go by three. So one third times three, there's three over three equals one. Here's the ketchup cover number. This is a three. Okay, so the answer will be less than the ketchup cover number. Yes, it was one. The answer will be a fraction. Hmm, didn't, didn't turn out as fractions. That's a no. So here's my answer. Okay, so all I did was use a couple different numbers, three, in fact, to try and uh, to check what the, if they were always true. It has to always be true for her to, for her to be sure. All right, let's go to the next. Oh, explain your answer. How do, oops. I explained it all up here, right? I did a lot of work up there. So I could have done all my work down there, I guess. Sorry, didn't read ahead. All right, fill in the blanks. Use the numbers or label sketches to show how you got your answers. You can use the rectangular array. Okay, I'm gonna use it. So the left side is, there's four of them. I'm gonna go by one of them. And the right side is a half, or is two. So I'm gonna do this. I only colored in one of the eight total that were there. Okay, uh, let's do the next one. Here's my one third, here's my one fourth. I colored in one of, it looks like one, two, three, four, four times three, 12, one twelfth. All right, let's do the next one. Three fourths, one, two, three, four fifths, one, two, three, four. Um, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There were twelve out of one, two, three, four, five, five times four, twelve out of twenty. Now we can simplify it. Did it ask us to simplify? Well, we're going to simplify. They're both even, so let's uh, divide that by two over two equals um, six tenths. They're still even. Divide by two over two equals three fifths. That's as low as you can go. Because both three and five are prime, so you can't divide those by anything but themselves. All right, let's see if this next one makes sense. At Kelly's school, and remember you're pausing these, we're not just gonna copy these, make sure you get these, okay? At Kelly's school, two thirds of the playground is covered with grass and three fifths of the grassy area is a baseball field. How much of the school playground is taken up by the baseball field? All right, so let's draw our picture. Uh, well, let's, we can do this too, two-thirds of, three-fifths. Um, two-thirds of the school playground is covered by grass, three-fifths of the grassy area. So three-fifths of, which is of two-thirds. This is grass. This is b-ball. Not basketball, baseball. Um, and remember, of is going to be times for us. Okay, so let's try this. Let's draw a picture. Um, two, let's start with the grass. Two thirds is grass. We'll do grass. There's my two thirds. That's some bright grass, isn't it? Okay, two thirds. And grass. Okay, then we have three fifths of that is the baseball field. So we got to break that into fifths. One, two, three, four, and three fifths of them is baseball field. So we're going to. Um, what if we use a different color? I wonder what will happen. Three fifths. Oh, you can't see it. What if I do this? Oh, that turned really dark, but that's okay. I think you guys can still see. I'm going to draw that red line back there. There we go. So 
there it is. There's the right here. Looks like we have um, six out of how many are there? One, two, three times five, fifteen. Six fifteenths of the field of the whole playground. Um, you can also, they're not both even, but you can divide them both by three. So three over three, um, two fifths. I think our answer could be two fifths. All right. The field takes up two fifths of the playground. Oops, that was a, I started looking at the, something else, the time, how much I had left in the video. And I wasn't watching where I was writing playground. Okay, let's try and finish number six and we'll think about if we're gonna go on or not. Okay, uh, Corey says that six divided one half means the same thing as one half divided by six. So the answer is three. Well, let's do them, okay? Six divided by one half. So um, six divided by one half. Six divided into one halves. Uh, I should have made that. How many one-halves are in six? It looks like there are two here, then two, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's six divided by one-half equals twelve. Okay? Let's use a different color. Uh, and the other one was six, one-half of six. One-half. Um... Here's six. I shouldn't have drawn so big the other one. Half of six is three. Half, um, half of six. Six, half of six, half of six is the same thing as one half times six, which is six over two which is three. Uh oh, I think that um, I disagree. Okay, because that's 12. That's three. So I disagree. Oops, my paper's too far down. Disagree. Because that is 12, six divided by half, and then um, half of six. Two different, totally different numbers. There's 12 halves and six and half of six is three. All right, I'm gonna run out of time. I know there's only one page left, but I don't wanna rush the next part of it. So I'm gonna stop this and then we're going to um, come back for a part two. Okay.